John the Trainer here with a quick tip. We typically hear that the LGBT community makes up about 10% of the US population, but really this is just speculation. The truth is, nobody has ever counted the numbers or even asked the question. No US census has ever asked questions that collected data on a person's sexual orientation or gender identity. LGBTQ rights advocates and organizations have been pushing for these types of questions to be added since at least the 1990s. And although the 2020 census will not include these questions, it will, for the first time, allow people in the same household to identify as same-sex partners or spouses. And that's really freaking huge! And it makes the 2020 census so significant. Oftentimes, especially if you're LGBTQ identified, it can feel very easy to not engage in a process especially when your full identity is not being taken into account. But, for the first time, the 2020 census is going to allow us to have an actual idea of just how many LGBTQ households there really are. And this information is super important. Have you ever wondered why it's more difficult to gain access to the LGBTQ supports and services that you need? It might be because your local government simply doesn't know how many LGBTQ households there are living in their area. These census numbers are used to determine how federal money is distributed, and that impacts local LGBT resources. Additionally, these numbers can be used to help enforce civil rights protections and are also used to determine the size of each state's congressional delegation. Completing the 2020 census is also really quick, easy, and offers several different options. Households can complete their 2020 census questionnaire online, over the phone, or by mail. For more information about the 2020 Census, supporting the LGBT community, or to receive LGBTQ sensitivity trainings for your workplace, please contact me at jlakatatiso at lgbtcleveland.org.